Can you, what, what can you tell us about your group after five days? Um, you know, they, they get to the point where they know how to practice, uh, where they, they're learning how to practice. Uh, you know, this uh, the, the last two days have been the, the tougher ones as far as pads. Uh, we picked it up, the, the, the volume of uh, reps for the ones, the twos, and the threes. So it's uh, it's picking up, but I'm, I'm, I'm learning a little bit more about about them as far as <clears throat> the mental things. When you get fatigued, you know, your, your pads get bad, your stents are horrible. So, uh, you know, learning that part about them, and now they can see it, and, and now there's some things you can focus on. But you, you'll learn even more today, I would assume, with the contact drills. Uh, yeah, we were, we were a little contact uh, before, but then now, you, you know, you can, you can bring them to the ground. And, I mean, most everybody know when you put shoulder pads on and say it's thudding, it, it is. It, it becomes a little bit more contact. So I feel like we've been having contact. Uh, nothing really is going to change to me. I hope not. You know, but you, you you find out a lot more when you know they can really take a, a clean shot on you. So yeah, you're right. We'll see. <laughs> what do you think of Will Cress? Will Cress? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, he's he's coming in. He's he's new to this position with me. So it's it's a it's a process. Uh, right now we got them uh, learning the inside receiver position. So you know it's it's, it's a process. So it, the evaluation part on will will take a little bit more time as far as uh, film study and and getting them some quality reps. Doug Buck was saying what he likes most about facing your group is the versatility that they have. You know, a little bit of speed mixed with size, whatever. Is that is that something you like about your group as well? Yes, I do. Um, I feel like we can't we can't go wrong with who we have out there. Um, and the great thing is we'll know how how to 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 feed the the fast guys and the big guys. You know, he's not going to give the big guy something here, give his his beaster. So uh, I feel like the the realm of my room uh, for as receiver, I got everything I need. So. Mark Scott had mentioned David Sills. Uh, perhaps being used at punt returner too. Outside of this room in the general public, is he underrated as an athlete, do you think? Uh, yeah, we laugh about it. Me and David laugh about it. Actually, everybody in the receiver room laughs about it. Uh, but uh, he's, a, he's a spectacular kid. Uh, you, you watch him in high school uh, at quarterback and making people miss. You know, you, you, you can see the, the, the finesse he have in this game uh, and his, his effort for his every day approaching practice like it's his last. Uh, working hard at everything he does is, is like through the roof. Jake was talking about the running backs as receivers. Mm -hmm. You get your hands on them there. What, are there things that they, they still have to learn even though maybe they catch the ball well? Or are they consummate receivers? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a ton of things you have to learn for us, you know, technique and the way to attack the defender. Um, but, you know, like uh, Tevin was doing it in high school. He has a, a great understanding of it. And, you know, Kennedy was with me uh, last year too. So, you know, those two guys, they pretty they pretty much got it to the to an extent. You know, it's, it's not like they're out there repping it every day, but, you know, they can get in and, and, and do their job more than anything.